Hello, my name is Sebastian Gillen, and my piece, An Indelible Mark, will be performed by actor Bart Mather. When I was in middle school, I was generally a pretty shy kid, but whenever a teacher touched on human biology or anatomy, I felt like this was my time to shine. I mean, this was my specialty, and I had the proof. <laughs> I distinctly remember on more than one occasion, standing on a chair, pulling up my shirt, proudly displaying off the pale bifurcating line that ran two thirds of the way around my abdomen, you know, declaring manfully that I no longer possessed a gallbladder or a right adrenal gland. <laughs> I also distinctly remember around the same time period, being so overwhelmed by a book report presentation that I ran from the room crying. This goes to show the extent of the transformative empowerment I was able to find through my old wounds. Now, in retrospect, I could see how it might have seemed strange, or at the very least, perhaps not the most common reaction, but it simply hadn't occurred to me that other people might have had different negative relationships with their own scars, not to mention the things that cause them. Not for me, though. To me, they are triumphant proofs of the pains that I've lived. The wounds that did not kill me. Undeniable testimonials of my strides and struggles. And I wear them with tender pride. On my right forearm is a scar of a different sort. One that I hold in even higher regard. One of my own choosing. It's a simple tattoo. A stark, bold arrow crossed by three shorter lines. The symbol for Memorial Sloan Kettering. The crossbars stand for three things. Education, treatment, and research. To draw the clear parallels, those aspects correspond with the tenses of our perspective, past, present, and future. Now, I think it serves as a great reminder of the need for balance, remembering to take a breath and be in the moment, for each additional moment is a blessing. But also to remember the heartbreaking, staggering beauty of what has come before and to prepare for the countless bouts of tears and laughter yet to come. I got it for a lot of reasons. Out of gratitude to everyone at MSK. It's an emblem of strength, of will, and luck. <laughs> Dumb, stubborn courage. <laughs> and as a reminder that I'm a survivor. Headstrong, unpredictable, and full of love. Ultimately, I got it as a living memorial for the kids that didn't survive the N7 protocol. The kids all around the world that we've lost or will lose. It serves as a constant companion, a physical manifestation of the indelible mark they made upon us all. In the weeks after I got it done, a number of large black scabs formed across the majority of the design and they itched like mad. After about 10 days and dozens of ineffective applications of lotion, I ended up scratching the scabs right off and with them, a good amount of the ink. The design became a patchy, uneven mess. Even at the time, I couldn't help but think the symbolism was a bit heavy-handed. Although it was cathartic for me in terms of my personal guilt as a survivor, there was still something fundamentally unsettled in my soul about my cancer experience. A few years later, 
I call it my mormer, uh, Swedish for mother's mother, staring at my forearm. Don't you just want to let it fade away, to just move on, forget about all that nastiness, and have a normal life? Hmm? I can understand the tendency to want to move on and avoid revisiting the past. Let it fall into the vague, misty yesterdays of memory. And I was happy that she expressed her question the way she did because it gave me the opportunity to crystallize what this tattoo truly meant to me. Yes. The overall course of my life has been determined by my illness. But I'm not ashamed. I'm not a victim. And I'm not regretful. Although they're often difficult and, let's be perfectly honest, extremely painful nature, these experiences gave my life so much more richness, insight, perspective, so much more compassion for the suffering of others. Incredible encounters with so many beautiful souls. So many blessings. My experiences made me who I am. And I wouldn't change a thing. So, when I got the tattoo a second time, I knew exactly what it meant. I'm a survivor. I'm endlessly thankful, and I'm full of love and laughter. I'm here. I'm alive, and there isn't anybody quite like me. Years later, the ink is as bold and bright as it ever was. Indelible.